गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आवर लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ जियोग्राफी चैप्टर नंबर सेवन चैप्टर सिक्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड इन आवर लास्ट क्लास एंड आई हैव सेंड द नोट्स क्वेश्चन आंसर्स डिटेल्स एंड डिफरेंशिएट इन आवर लास्ट लास्ट क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर नंबर सेवन द कॉन्टिनेंट स्टडी ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंट साउथ अमेरिका In the previous chapter, it was North America. Now, in this chapter, we are going to study about the South America. So, the key concept are the introduction, location, boundaries, political division like countries and capitals, major physical features, location, the above on the map, case study, life in Amazon River Basin, how the the life in Amazon River Basin. Now, this theme is in continuation of the. to the con- continents of the world with the specific detail about the south america children will be provide a board overview broad overview of south america they also get an opportunity to do the case study of the life in the amazon river basin so learning outcomes are children will be able to locate uh, south america on the world map identify and mark the different country of south america no about the life in amazon river basin how the geography of a place affect the life of the people now we are going to study in this chapter so student first of all first topic introduction of the south america south america is the four, f- uh, fourth largest continent in the world in 1498 christopher columbus explored the northern coastline of south america the people from spain portugal italy and the french initially settled in the south america and they spoke the language derived from the latin that is why the south america is also referred to the latin america along with the countries of the central america mexico and the caribbean island the two main language spoken in south america are spanish and portuguese now something about the location south america extends between the latitude 13 degree north and 55 degree south the l- longitude extends in 35 degree west to 81 degree west the n- the n- its north south extent is about 7650 km while its east west extent is about 4800 km therefore a major part of south america lies in south western hemisphere two parallel lines of latitudes the equator the tropic of capricorn passes through this continent most of the south america lies with the tropic of capricorn so the continent is surrounded by water bodies on almost all side with the pacific ocean in the its west the atlantic ocean in the east and the caribbean sea in the north it is connected with north america by a narrow stretch of land called the isthmus of panama the southern most point called cape horn the strait of magellan separates the main continent from the island of the terren del fuego the coastline of south america is very smooth except is except it the extreme south western part now the political division of the south america so students south america has the area of 170 uh, lakh mm-hmm. 1 crore 78 lakh 40000 square kilometers its population as of 2016 has been estimated at more than 420 million it has 12 sovereign countries and the other territories this like brazil is the largest country in south america it is the fifth largest country in the world and it is the fifth largest country in the uh, world brazil and the french guiana is a territory which belongs to france the falkland island and the south georgia island are other non sovereign area that are under the control of the united kingdom the galapagos island of the pacific ocean are under 
Ecuador, the Aruba, the Bonaire, and the Curacoa Island, commonly known as the ABC Island of the Netherlands, and also part of it, the South America. So, students, now South America is connected through the Isthmus of Panama. The Panama Canal is the Isthmus link, the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. Now the country and the capital. First one is Brazil. The capital is Brasilia. Argentina, capital Bruno Aires. Uruguay, capital Montevideo. Suriname, capital Paramary. Bo, now capital Guyana. Georgetown, Venezuela, Caracas, Bolivia, La Paz, and Secure. Chile, Santiago, Peru, Lima, Colombia, Bogota, Ecuador, Quito, Para Prague, Osinchion, French, Jena, Siena. So, students, you have to learn the country and the capitals. So, after that, physical features. The most striking feature of the land of South America is its a very variety of nature environment. The continent has snow-capped mountains, extended evergreen tropical forests, vast fertile plain, and hot desert. It, its land feature came broadly categorized into four major physical divisions. First one, the Andes Mountain, the Western Mountain. And these mountains are also known as the Western Mountains. The Eastern Highland, the Central Lowland, the Plains, the Western Coastal Strip. So the Andes Mountains are the Western Mountain of the South America, often referred to as Andean Cordilleras. It is the world's longest chain in mountain and the second highest mountain in range after the Himalaya. So, Andes is the second highest range. Then the Andes have a long stretch of about 8,000 km. They are young fall mountain which run parallel to the Pacific coast in the western part of the South America. These mountains extend from the Panama in the north to the Cape Horn in the south. The Andes is not just one continent, continuous chain but consists of at least three parallel ranges with the basin and plateau located in between them. There are a number of lofty peaks like Mount Aconcagua in Argentina is the highest peak which is 6960 meters of Andes. Several other high peaks of Andes include Ojos. Del Salado, 6817 meter, Mount Cotopaxi, 5896 meter, and Mount Camby, 5790 meter, and Mount Chimbo Razo, located in the equator. These peaks are located very close to the equator. However, they remain snow covered through the year because of their great altitude. Their this region is also prone to volcanic eruption and earthquake because it's come within the Pacific Ring of Fire. Mount Chimbo Rozo, 6310 meter, Mount Cotopaxi, 5896 meter, and Mount Cambi, 5790 meter of equator are also active volcanoes. Now, the Andes Mountains range is a source of big rivers of South America. Many short rivers arranging from the eastern slopes of Andes eventually join the Amazon River and flow down the deep and steep western slope into the Pacific Ocean. These supply cheap hydroelectricity for the surrounding regions and snow-capped peaks, glaciers, waterfalls, lakes and the forests are the greatest tourist attraction. So student, this all from today's class. We have covered almost uh, two pages and uh, I think it is enough for today's class. The Eastern Highland, the Central Lowland, the Western Coastal Strip we will discuss in our next class. Till then read the chapter and if you have any problem regarding this chapter you can ask me. Thank you.